As Forex traders, you need to understand the difference between leverage, margin, and risk. So let's talk about that right now. Hi Forex traders, it's Andrew Mitchum here, the Forex Trading Coach, and in today's video and podcast, I'm going to be answering a question that I've had emailed through to me from uh, Tom, and he said, hey Andrew, can you explain about leverage and margin and risk and how it affects us as Forex traders? And so if you have any questions that you would like me to answer along those type of lines, any topics that you have, please do send me an email and I'll do my best to answer those for you on future videos and podcasts. So let's talk about leverage to start with. Leverage really uh, is how much of your broker's money you can use. And brokers uh, can vary between 10 to 1, 50 to 1, 100 to 1, right up to about 400 to 1 leverage. Um, personally, I've always used 100 to 1. Now, I know that if you're in the US, of course, you do have some restrictions. But really, leverage isn't so much an issue if you have sensible, low-risk, controlled trading approach. If you have ridiculously high risk, then uh, leverage does become an issue and having a, a low leverage such as uh, what you can have in the US does become more of an issue. But really the way that I trade, which is as a business and to treat trading seriously, low risk, uh, 100 to 1 leverage is absolutely ample. Uh, the second thing, margin. Really what margin is, is how much money is available in your account. So money that's not currently tied up in any open trades. How much do you have left there to trade with? And um, you don't ever need to get to a situation where you have a margin call. And that's when you don't have enough money left in your account uh, to cover your open positions and your broker will close all your positions and generally you that's the end of your account. Now you really should never ever get to that situation. Again, if you do, it means that you're just uh, gambling with your trading. The third uh, item is risk. And that's really one thing that you can control yourself. And it is a personal type of thing, but it is really important to understand risk properly. Now, with the way that I personally trade and the way that I teach people to trade is I risk no more than half of 1% of my account on any one trade. Now, that doesn't matter what the time frame of the chart is, um, what day of the week it is, what the currency pair is, whether we're on buying or selling or a pending order or market order, it doesn't matter. Half percent is the maximum that I would trade on any one trade. Sometimes it's a quarter percent, but if one percent is what you're comfortable with, then use one percent. But personally, I think half percent is plenty. And what that does is it helps you to take trades on any time frame chart, and it also helps to keep your emotions under control within your trading, because you know the very worst you can do is lose half of 1%. So it means that if trades happen to stay on while you go to work or while you're sleeping or while you're away from your computer, that doesn't really matter because you have your stop loss in place and you know that X number of dollars or pounds or yen, whatever it is that's in your account, is the very um, the most that you can lose if that trade gets stopped out. Now I've just come off a Skype call with a, uh, a guy in Perth and I've just explained risk to him as well because uh, to start with uh, you know we were talking about pips and I was explaining why to me pips are not really that important and I'll give you the same scenario as I gave him just a few minutes ago. Let's say you took four trades on the 15 minute charts for instance and all four were profitable and they all made, let's say, 15 pips each. That's fantastic, you know, you've just made yourself 60 pips. Let's say you also took another trade, so your fifth trade was taken on um, the four hour charts or the daily charts, doesn't really matter, but a longer time frame chart that generally has a bigger stop loss. Let's say that that trade had a 70 pip stop loss and it got stopped out. So here you are on one hand with uh, four trades, all profitable, they made really good money, and you have one trade that got stopped out, and it, you're lost on that. So you've made 60 pips and lost 70. You're negative 10 pips. So if you start trading with X amount of dollars per uh, pip, and you trade that way, which is the traditional way that most people trade, you're now minus 10 pips or how many dollars that equates to. 
Whereas if you had control risk on each one of those trades, let's say they all had the same risk to reward margin or, or return. And let's say for the sake of ease of numbers, they were all two to one trade. You've now got four profitable trades making two to one, and you've got one losing trade losing one part. So now you're in huge profit because you've got away from the mentality of pips and you're looking at return per trade and control risk. So that's a really important aspect of risk there to understand. Um, the other thing quickly to mention is that um, I uh, personally had a really good month and a lot of my clients have had a really good month of October. And with uh, my personal account, I'm up 8.5% for the month, so very happy with that return with, again, low risk. And lastly, don't forget that the US clocks change this weekend. And so uh, the daily charts still remain at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but for those of us not in the US, uh, it means that your daily charts and your four hourly charts, etc., everything will now um, open and close. So the new day opens one hour later than what it has done um, recently. So just bear that in mind if you're trading on daily charts. The start of the week is one hour delayed for those of us outside of the US. So I hope you got some really good benefit and really good information from this webinar. My name's Andrew Mitchum from The Forex Training Coach. Have a fantastic weekend. I look forward to talking to you this time next week.